Burnham, and uh, this is Burnham Orchards. Um, we grow apples, peaches, and blackberries. And then what is your farming process or your technique for growing the items? Uh, well, for, for apples, we've uh, moved away from the old uh, st style of, of raising the fruit on big trees to uh, uh, what we call high density, where we plant uh, dwarfing trees and they're uh, planted closer together and uh, they produce a crop uh, in about three years as opposed to eight or nine. And what's the, what, the, what are the benefits of going to that style? Uh, benefits of that is it's uh, easier to take care of. Um, you get a return on your investment sooner uh, and generally the fruit quality <coughs> is better because uh, you can capture uh, the sunlight better. Then you talked about the, the different dwarfing trees. Um, any other changes in, in, in trends or new technologies or anything that's that you kind of used on the farm that's been implemented over the over the years? Yeah. Well, um, I guess for instance, um, the varieties have, have changed uh, since uh, I was young. We we've added several new varieties. Um, Early on, it was Fuji and Gala, mm -hmm. and uh, in the past uh, ten years, Honeycrisp, and we have uh, most of the time been uh, one of the early adopters as far as uh, new varieties. Um, and and Honeycrisp is one that we've planted quite a bit uh, in the past ten years, and it really paid off. Uh, it's a very popular variety. a higher price and to market and uh, but it's it's fun because people when they when they bite into a honey crisp they're just so uh, awestruck by the, the flavor and the, and the texture and the intensity um, so that makes it kind of fun to farm when you can provide a product like that okay um, yeah peaches here we're we like to have them uh, thinned out so that they size. These here are a little bit closer together so they're not quite as large, but when you get a peach like this, it's a little bit bigger um, because it's pretty much growing by itself and, and uh, that's what we look for, to have them spaced out. Uh, these aren't quite ready yet. They're, they're developing the red color, but they uh, still need some time. They're a little bit green yet. And, well, apples and pretty much <coughs> everything we grow uh, is still hand-picked. There's just uh, no way that uh, a machine can make all the decisions necessary to harvest fruit. For instance, <clears throat> the peaches will probably pick this tree uh, at least five times. So you're selecting, because not all the peaches ripen at the same time, and you want to pick the peach at the peak of ripeness. Uh, red, and then as they ripen, they'll, they'll start turning darker and darker until they finally uh, completely black and when you when you pick a blackberry that's that's ready it it should come off the uh, the stem such as that if it does not it's not ready so you don't want to force them off this one actually isn't totally right it's not quite completely black but it's pretty close I'm uh, Joe Burnham from Burnham Orchards and you can find uh, apples, peaches, blackberries in season in the produce section of your local highness.